This is a lesson on area, and in, specifically on uh, finding area of parallelograms and triangles. And our objective today is to be able to find the area of a parallelogram by multiplying the base times the height. All right, so oops, base times the height. Uh, and when we write a formula for that, it would be area equals whatever the base is of a parallelogram times, and that little dot uh, means multiply, times the height. And if we can identify the base and the height of a parallelogram, we're going to be fine uh, finding the um, area. Now, in order to find the area of a triangle, because you're also going to have to find the area of a triangle, uh, you have to know that a triangle is exactly half of a parallelogram. So if we find the parallelogram that contains the triangle and then divide by two, we'll find the area of a triangle. Now, I know a lot of that is fairly confusing, but it will become less confusing as we go through the lesson, so stick with it. All right, so in order to succeed in this lesson, we're going to have to know uh, the following things. You have to know some properties of parallelograms. For perimeter, you have to know that the opposite sides are equal um, on you know the sides and the top and the bottom. But for a parallelogram, you have to understand that a parallelogram um, forms a rectangle if you just reconfigure it. But in a parallelogram, what you're going to do is we're going to do the base, which is the bottom side, times the height. And the height is not going up one of the sides. The height is going up directly up perpendicular to the base, straight up to the uh, to the top part. How much or how far is that? What's the distance there? And that's the things we multiply together. If there's numbers out here along these sides that are kind of uh, at an angle from the base, not at a 90 degree angle, but some other angle. Those are unnecessary numbers and they're just trying to fool you. All right? And then the second thing we need to know is how to multiply whole numbers and numbers with decimals. So you may have to review some of that before uh, you're successful in this lesson. Here's our notes for lesson 11-8 uh, on area. How do I find the area of a parallelogram? I already told you, so you, you kind of know that. And then what extra step do I need to do to find the area of a triangle? All right, so there's one more thing we have to do uh, when, when you find area of something that isn't the parallelogram. All right, so the things that we have to kind of understand is uh, why does base times height work for a parallelogram? So if I have... Uh, this number right here times that right there, you know, that's the area of a rectangle, base times height. But this isn't a rectangle, right? But we have to understand that this is a rectangle. You just have to move the pieces around to make a rectangle. Yeah, now you can see that's a rectangle, right? I'll move these things out of the way, and then you'll see that that is a a rectangle, but really it was a parallelogram, and I didn't subtract anything from it, I just moved it around, so the area of a parallelogram is exactly the same thing as an area of a rectangle. That's why base times height will work. So why do we divide by two, then, if there's a triangle, right? So here you have a rectangle, and everyone who's looking at that would agree that's a rectangle. Inside the rectangle, there are two exactly the same um, area triangles. And I'm going to show you that now. So I'm going to move some pieces away and reconfigure them. And now you can see that there's two exactly the same uh, area, same size triangles inside of a rectangle. So if we find the area of a rectangle, and I'm going to leave them apart slightly so you can see it. If we find the area of a rectangle and then divide by two, it will give us the area of this triangle. All right, moving on. Here's our first example, and what you see here in A is a rectangle. All right, and that rectangle is um, easy to pretty, pretty easy to find the uh, base times the height. So on the base of this rectangle, you have, whoop, I need a different color. You have eight meters. That's the bottom, that's the base, and then the height of the rectangle is three meters, right? So we multiply the eight times the three to get the area. So area equals eight times three. That's the base times the height. And we start off with the formula, base times height, right? So area equals 24. 
but 24 watts, right? They're meters. That's what they're labeled as. So it's 24 meters. Now, uh, you have to understand that area isn't a length. It's how many squares can fit inside of a shape, right? And so there's a whole bunch of one meter squares in there. How many of them are there? There's 24. So it's 24 square meters. And so it needs to be labeled as 24 meters squared. Here's another way that you can do it. Uh, area equals 24 square meters. Right, either way, uh, A equals 24M squared or A equals 24 square meters. Either one of those will be uh, fine. Right, here's our guided practice uh, for today and uh, we're going to find the area of each of these figures. And the first figure has a base of 14.1 and a height of 9.3. And so I need to multiply 14.1 and times 9.3 to find the area of that. And it's going to be square millimeters. So this is not a lesson on multiplying with decimals. So I'm going to go through this pretty fast. 3 times 1, 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, so you should have 42 point or 4, 2, 3 on your first line, placeholder. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 times 4 is 36, 9 times 1 is 9 plus the 3 is 12. Add them all together, you get 3, 1, 1, 3, 1, and then it's one decimal space, two decimal spaces, that's how many are in the uh, factors product will have two. One, two. So the area here equals 131.13 millimeters. And again, they're squares. Whoa. Millimeters squared equals the area. All right. So uh, when the base times height, it's pretty easy. When it's a rectangle, when it's a parallelogram, remember, you have to pay attention to the distance from the bottom to the top, not the sides. So it's 12 times 34 here, and uh, knowing a little bit about math, I can multiply 34 times 12 or 12 times 34 and get the same exact answer. So it's 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, uh, placeholder, 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 3 is 3, and then you have uh, 8, 0, and 4. And uh, there's no decimal spaces, so it's 408 inches squared, and that equals our area. All right, and again, the height is not the side. All right, now finding the area of a rectangle requires a, a little bit different thinking. So we have a base of 7 and a height of 4, right? And then the that would be... 7 times 4 would be if we were finding a rectangle that was 7 times 4. But it isn't a rectangle. It's half of a, recta or a, half of a rectangle. So when we find out the area of a rectangle, we will divide by 2 to find out the area of each triangle that forms the rectangle. Remember, a rectangle is two triangles. So we do the area equals base times height, and that's all divided by 2. So First thing, multiply base times height. That's 7 times 4, so it equals 28. That's for the rectangle. You get a um, highlighter here. All right, so we found the area of that rectangle. Now we need to divide that rectangle in half to find the area of just this uh, triangle part. So I divide that by 2. 14 divided by 2 is, I mean, uh, 28 divided by 2 is 14. So the area equals 14 square feet, or you can also write it as 14 square feet. Either one of those two is acceptable. All right, and number four, you see a triangle, but it has three different numbers on it, and you have to figure out, well, which ones do I pay attention to? Again, we're looking for base times height, and height is the straight up and down measure, not the ones that go side to side. So if we do 26, which is the height, times 23, which is the base, 
will have part of the answer, right? But that would be for a rectangle that was this shape. We'd find the area 23 times 26. That's the whole thing. But in order to find the area of this triangle that's inside of that rectangle, we're going to divide by 2, right? So 3 times 6, 18. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And then uh, placeholder, 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 2 is uh, 4, plus 1 is 5. And so we have 8, 9, 5. All right, so that's the area of this rectangle. And then the triangle that's within that needs to be divided by 2. So we go 598 divided by 2. 500s divided by 2 is 2. Remainder, bring it down 19. 2 times 9 is 18. Bring down the next number. Area equals 299. All right, so we rewrite that in some open space here. Area equals 299 centimeters. And again, even though it's a rectangle, they're still measuring squares in there. So it's 299 centimeters squared. Here's our uh, work for the day. We're going to be working out of the homework book, H11-8, but we're only doing the first six problems. Uh, and remember, areas always measured in squares. Label your answers appropriately. Good luck.